Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here. That was a bit jolly, wasn't it? I don't know quite what happened there because, you know, well, I haven't got COVID, so I suppose there's a lot to be thankful for. Every now and then I just think, oh no, I think I've got it, you know, and then it goes away. I mean, I've had the, <clears throat> I've had the tickle, I've had the feeling like it's a little bit alive up your nose, you know, that mean tingly kind of thing. Um, I've had a little bit of issues, not saying any more than that. When I had COVID, I had those issues. I had them um, a little. So I thought, oh, here we go. Started off. That's how it started with me before. <laughs> well, I was just like, no. Um, but no. But, um, that's not to say it's going to escape me, you know. But. I am being really anal about anything I do, okay? It's like, um, I wear blue rubber gloves to hand him his tea and a mask. Um, every time he even goes to the toilet, I sanitize the whole thing and I use my own. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed by it all, really. I use my own toilet paper. I have a whole roll over there that is hidden so I don't even have to touch the toilet roll that he touches. In the beginning though, I was touching the toilet roll that he touches. And obviously sitting next to him on the sofa so I mean I might not escape, but you know, I'm doing everything in my power. Everything to get um escape it. So I had this little thing, I was sitting there earlier and I thought, you know, some people I mean I've I've been asked as well, I mean over the years about rectangular crochet and the different ways and everything else and there's some that look really cool and then there's i've got a couple <clears throat> of crochet rectangles uh blankets and and stuff so i thought you know what would be cool is if i did this so and then made that into a rectangle so in the past when harley was um a niche and as dead as pants. Um, or no, actually, might have been cooking in the belly. I made a blanket which was three, three kind of squares which were puff stitches, bobbles, puff stitches, and then I did a, a small row of grannies, tiny grannies around them, and then I did bigger squares around that, and then I did another row of small ones as a border to them. And I just kept going around like that and um, it was lovely. It was a really nice blanket. Chose some really nice colours in there as well. So, and, I've, and I did do one for Tyler and, I, and then I washed it wrong and I killed it. Yeah, so that, was, that wasn't good. Um, and it was lovely, you know, never mind. So I figured, you know, I'd try and have a little play. I've been playing with various things. I mean, I did start this. I'm not keen on it though. It's got a bit wavy and um, it does need to be, um, I'm not sort of keen on a lot of things about it. So um, I'm not carrying on with that one. I might just frog some or frog all, but it will be frogging in my future with that one. Um, I still feel like the inside of my nose is just a little bit like alive, like a little bit tingly and anyway good luck to Jane who's got um, her specialist today to see what the results of her scan are and just for you there I've put it on the moonlight is on because she loves that and she loves it so much that uh, I've half bought her one and or similar and um, it's been a bit off lately um, <clears throat> she always used to say you need to put batteries in there well I just plugged this one into the mains this time but I don't like the, the, the cord I've plugged it into, it's a big thick one. But I've had a change around in here a bit, so, because um, the computer's gone. It, um, it is bad now. Um, I've tried, I signed into the course today. I used it and uh, I had it on for a little while and then when I walked into the room, it was flashing like this. I thought, oh well, it's getting worse. And they do say, well, I did hear that one, tutorial that I watched said um, don't ignore it because it will 
have a knock-on effect into other things. So every day I will sign on it and sign into the course because I can't do it on my laptop for some reason. And just to get the notes for the day. And then, um, you know, when everybody, uh, oh, the, 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 the whole COVID issue is gone, then maybe we'll take it in. But at the moment, um, it's the wrong timing in the month for me at the moment. Um, usually the wrong time of the month meant another issue, but it just means that I haven't, I haven't got my pay through. So that's the, um, that's the thing. So yeah, anyway, where was I? Um, let's do the picture. What we got today, I wonder. Is it a good one? It's a very dark one. I can see wet bum and I think, yes, Grogu. So yeah, it's, it, you know, it's so much better when the light shines on it. There's Ahsoka and, um, and Grogu, look at that. Did you like the sound effect? Don't quite know what that was about, but yeah. And let's do the mum joke. Oh, what's that? Got another little book, come along with you. This is one of my, I wish I was a unicorn notebook. got lots of notebooks and the trouble with me is I write a pattern in one and then I'll pick up another one and write another pattern and this goes on I must have about 15,000 books all with a couple of patterns in do you think I can ever find the one I want nah of course not right mum joke if you asked me if I'd rather be rich famous or a good mum I'd say two of those three would be nice after all it's no fun being poor and famous Yes. Two out of three. Ain't bad. Not singing. Anyway, I've got a nice cup of tea that I made. It's a bit weird though, having to do everything, you know. Everything. All the washing up. All the everything. I need to go out the garden and put some plants in the garden that are going to die if I don't. It rained earlier. It was really awful. I filmed a, uh, a Timu opening um, for yesterday earlier on, and it was the rain was lashing it down against the window. It's really, really bad. And uh, now it's all sun sunshine and smiles out there, but I think it's very windy. You know, it's one of those days where you have to tie your hair down because otherwise it's, you know and tangled and in your face and in your mouth that I really hate that you know what the one thing that guarantee the day that I go out somewhere and I think I'll put some makeup on and dress nice I'll put makeup on I put a bit of lippy on and a bit of lip gloss and I go outside and straight away all my hair grows on and I stick to it but that doesn't happen to Elle McPherson or Naomi Campbell but that doesn't it happens to me. Well, it wouldn't happen to Naomi Campbell. But you know, ones with long hair, maybe. Just saying. It happens to me. The minute I go out there, it's like, oh, and then you think, I've got all that gloop in my hair now. <laughs> to be honest, it's just a few strands, isn't it? But you know, it makes you feel like it's going to be greasy now. Anyway. I keep saying anyway a lot, don't I? Notice that. Moving on then, let's not say anyway anymore. I'm banning myself from all sorts of words. <laughs> I won't be able to say anything soon. I'll be sitting like... Not much has happened around here, I'm afraid. I can't, I'm not really very interesting at the moment because I've not even set foot outside the front door. <laughs> Uh, Gary wants me to go and get him some beans. I've been shopping the other day with the... <laughs> I got his, his medication and a couple of ready meals. And if I'd got him a tin of beans, he'd have been absolutely ecstatic. But I forgot beans. He likes shepherd's pie with beans. And he, he likes it in his shepherd's pie or with his shepherd's pie baked beans can't eat 
shepherd's pie without baked beans. Gary's like that, you know. He has these combinations like can't eat that without salad cream, can't eat that without beans. That's what, you know, very pedantic about certain things is Gary. First of all, couldn't eat a breakfast without beans. Now he eats breakfast without beans all the time. He does like his, he likes his beans. It's a long way to go and get a tin of beans. A lot of effort involved. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <sighs> I have to go get... I wonder if the neighbours have got a tin of beans I could borrow. That would be the answer. Could be. Could be the answer to my prayers. Anyway, I've not felt much like crocheting. I, um, I've done little bits, you know, like fiddling around with that and making a few hearts. I made a, where are they? I made this, a bit of crochet. And I made a flower, a bit of crochet. And I made one heart in a square. And then I made another heart in a square. And then I made granny rectangle. That's all I've done. But at least there's some crochet content. Just saying, you know. At least there's a bit of crochet. I didn't forget. Oh, this was inspired by Juan the Yarn Addict. I always say Juan like it's Juan. But Juan, Juan, Juan. <clears throat> <laughs> Anyway, this was inspired by him. He made sushi roll cakes. Now I've got a bit of centre pool going on with that strand there and a bit of outside pool going on with this one here. So um, I figured all the little scraps I had, I made them into a colour wheel and um, it's got more colours than blue. It doesn't look like it's heavily bluey, doesn't it? But it's got magenta, well, whatever that is, purpley it's got yellow in there um it's got a bit of mint green somewhere it's got pink blue and all different blues and i thought you know that might be the answer to my problems or my my prayers when i'm making a tutorial and i just need a bit of scrap to get a bit of practice um with my stitch counts or what it looks like in different colours. But since I've done that, I've wanted to separate the colours. <laughs> you know, I don't really want it to f to change colour halfway round. So yeah, it's good for one thing, you know, but since I got my uh, Swift, I've just wanted to wind. I've just wanted to wind and wind and wind more and more of them, but I haven't done it yet. In fact, I could go out in that yarn van, which would be a great distance from Gary and um, actually fill up some of those cubbies, empty my boxes and um, put some more yarn on for sale as well. I could do lots of stuff. You know, I might do tomorrow, maybe. A little bit of slurp there, I do apologise. So yeah, not really, not really kind of been very motivated I suppose the constant threat of the sword of Damocles or Covid rather has been hanging over my head a little bit plus you know I I've got chicken cooking um I decided I wasn't going to eat chicken again although I had this big pack of chicken um in the fridge and now Gary's having ready meals it's kind of fallen upon me to eat the lot so um over the last couple of days all I've had is chicken legs and that's it, not eating anything else with it, just chicken legs. Um, and I had those <clears throat> pork steaks with chicken. Um, so I'm cooking them and I'm going to break them up and I'm going to have, make myself an Alfredo without carbs. It will just have some cream cheese um, in the sauce, but it won't be have any proper absolute carbs. Um, so that's what I'm going to have. I might make some broccoli with it you know, to have on the side. Pur well, not purple, but um, long-stemmed broccoli. 
because I have a pack and it, it will wilt, you know, if I don't eat it, plus I like that. And I need a few um, veggie carbs, so I'll probably do that. <clears throat> and then whatever one of those meals Gary has, he can have a few bits of broccoli with it as well. That's the plan, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. It's in the Ninja. Now yesterday, I cooked it in the Ninja and I was sick and tired of washing the Ninja out and Gary's a bit fed up with it. He doesn't do it very often, but when he does, he complains. Because it's a big drawer, it doesn't fit in the sink and all the fat and bits of chicken dripping stick to it in like skin, you know? Anyway, <clears throat> oh, this chair does give me a backache. I don't know why, it's supposed to be a nice chair. Anyway, what was I? Said it again. <gasps> Goodness gracious. Aversion therapy, it might work, you never know. So we bought these tin foil trays to put in the ninja drawers, thinking, you know, that will stop it. But the trouble with that is the the, the oil and the fat, because they these chickens you get, you know, pieces or whatever, that you get from supermarkets are artificially fattened up and they've got layers of fat inside. Not brilliant, not good for you, but it does, in the ninja at least, run out. So, <laughs> what was these trays? Well, the trouble is it sits in the fat then and it cooks um, nicer, if you like, um, crispy on the top, but crunchy underneath as well because it's got basted from beneath. But it smoked like you wouldn't believe. The whole house had this layer of smoke it wasn't like black it was light colored but it was a mixture of smoke and steam you know and it was it, it just looked like you were looking through fog it was, <laughs> the whole house was i opened the door try and let it out i put the humidifier on to try and suck it away it just lasted for ages i thought oh, i can't really do that again it was bliss not having to clean that out but yeah I'm gonna go back to the old way. I'll have to wash it, never mind. Put it in soak. Oh, my cushion isn't doing its job. So this cushion I made um, with a mosaic um, sort of granny square. This is the one, the very first one that I did on my channel. And I made it with um, the yarn that I used it's just black yarn and um, patterns or patents fab DK in that really attractive rainbow. I'm not sure if I've got any left in my shop, you know, or if I sold out of it all. I think I might have, I don't know. I can't remember. There must be some left, I would think. Anyway, uh oh, <laughs> I'm never going to get rid of it. I had different ones, I had, um, and you could see that the Poundland streamers was really kind of copying it because they had all the same sort of colours in the in the ranges. I, I must still have some, I don't know where, but it'll be out there somewhere. Anyway, that's what I made it with. And then the latest one that I did that I, was with the modern Granny Square, doing it as a mosaic um, Granny Square. So, oh, I've got fibres now up my nose. That's very um, fibery, that pillow. But um, yeah, I'll put it behind me to stop the backache. It's not really working. So yesterday I brought my speaker in here and while I was, while I was working, I was listening to the newer stuff by Depeche Mode. If you haven't listened to it, you need to. It's amazing. Um, the old stuff was brilliant, but the, the more newer stuff, just well I love it so uh, yeah that's what I was doing I have these like little kicks um sometimes I'll sit here and I'll just listen to my Metallica so incidentally my thumbnail is Metallica inspired um you'll see it or you know you'll know when you see it but uh yeah uh, I'll do um it's a Metallica font <laughs> I've, I looked for it and I found it I thought no way it exists so I used it. Anyway, I'm going to get off and upload this um, video because otherwise um, I will just continue to sit and bubble about nothing. Because I've got, no, not done anything. I'm not even outside the door. 
The only, actually I lied, I let Fluffy out. That was the, <laughs> the most I've done. I was surprised she went out in the wind. Uh, she did. I saw an awful video um, on Facebook of a coyote, I don't know, is it coyote chasing a cat on someone's veranda? Okay, um, back porch. <laughs> and um, the cat was giving it a good swipe, uh, but it was going after it, it would not stop. So in the end, it shimmied up the up the pole, and you could see this cat kind of coming down, and and the coyote looking, thinking, oh, "I'm going to eat that." And um, so he came back to try and get it again, and the cat's shimmying up there again. And, uh, but they did say it didn't get the cat, so that's good. You know, I'm glad about that. But oh, it was quite stressful. I was looking at Facebook this morning, and that, and a few other videos. I'm thinking this is just too stressful. I don't really want to watch it. I don't want to. I got off, got off of Facebook because it was kind of stressing me out. <laughs> Delicate little flower that I am. Anyway, oh, I did it again. I was going to go wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you hear that wind? I'm not sure if you can, it's like really blustery. Definitely tying my hair up if I'm going out there. Anyway, bye for now. Oh, I did it again. Bye.